What's going on? It's Dom here. I want to welcome you back to my channel where I go over the maintenance and the modifications that I do to the vehicles in the family. Sometimes some preventative maintenance on the equipment that I have at home and maybe the DIY projects that I got going on inside. Now, in today's video, I'm going over the modifications that I've done to the engine of my 2009 BMW 335i convertible. Now, some of those modifications are from a performance aspect and others just for looks. Either way, I think you're going to enjoy it. Before we begin, I want to invite you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and make sure you click on the bell so you'll be notified for the next video that I post, which is very soon. Let's get this started. Before we get under the hood, I'll show you behind the grills. I've got blue air intake scoops. Now these are supposed to direct more airflow into the engine bay. Does it? Is it a performance gain? For me, it's more for looks. Uh, yes, I kept it in with the blue theme and I can see them from certain angles. You can see them a little bit better. I like the way they look and that's why I put them on. Now when you pop the hood, you'll see the N54 engine which many of you know requires its fair share of maintenance and money. But uh, if you do your preventative maintenance requirements, it saves you in the long run. You just got to keep on top of it. Let's talk about these stickers I got going on down here. These are just stickers, nothing else. I'm not affiliated with these companies. I don't advertise for them because they give me stuff. I've never gotten anything for free. Everything that I've purchased and put on the vehicle, I've paid for it out of my pocket. Maybe one day... You know, there'll be a sponsor on my channel, I hope, fingers crossed. I just like the stickers, you know, I like to put them on there and show what I have under the hood. That's all it is. You see, I've got the blue theme going on under the hood as well. I like the blue. It complements the BMW roundel that's on the engine cover. The shades on some of the components are a little bit differently. Maybe one day I'll have those uh, powder coated all in the same color scheme. But for now, I like the way it looks. Some of the pieces over there I've done myself with uh, some anodized paint that I bought. Okay, let's talk about the most noticeable modification that runs across the engine, and that is the Cusco strut brace. I picked that up from N5 Tuner. Uh, I chose Cusco because they've been around the racing circuit for a long time. They've got very, very good reviews. And I like the blue signature end braces that they have there, which matches the whole blue scheme. But this modification wasn't just for uh, aesthetics, for looks. This is an actual performance gain. I've noticed I, when I drive that car, it handles so much better. I've taken it up on some pretty high speeds and on some very nice tight turns. It handles really, really well. This is a must. I think you do notice the difference. Some people say, nah, it's just for looks. In my case, and I'm sure in many other people's uh, reviews, they said, yes, I feel the difference. I personally have felt that difference. Now under the strut brace, we have the Vargas Turbo Technologies oil filler cap. That looks really nice. And over on this side, we have the BMS oil filter cap and the thermostat caps. Their version of the billet blue is slightly different, but I think it still looks good. Over to the right side here, I've got the Forge Motorsports charge pipe with Forge Motorsports diverter valves which I currently have venting out to atmosphere. Now, this is a modification that I may be looking to upgrade soon. I'm thinking about going to a charge pipe with a single blow-off valve, probably from Tile. Let me know your thoughts on that. I know a lot of people have upgraded theirs. I'm thinking about doing mine as well. Next to the charge pipe right here, you see the beautiful carbon fiber cold air intake system that I got from ECS Tuning. That is a Kalfesser Luft Technic says it down there on a nice plate. I chose this because of that bracket, that plate that it has. It keeps the cones very rigid and off of the uh, manifold. Now, my only complaint about this is that I wish that the cones were blue so it would match everything else. I've reached out to ECS. They don't make them in blue. So I'm going to have to MacGyver something uh, so I can get some blue ones on there. The problem is all of the cones that I've seen aftermarket, they're either three inch, three and a half inch, four inch diameter here where they connect at the tubing. Mine are currently about two and a half inch, so I'm gonna MacGyver that. I do have a uh, video on that, I'll link it up above. 
And then way back here, I'm not sure if you can see it, I've got my BMS oil catch can installed, which reduces the amount of vapors that are recirculated into the intake of the engine. I do have VRSF catless downpipes, really can't see them from up here. And then down below in front, I have the VRSF five inch front mounted intercooler. Coming over to this side, yes, I have JB4 installed and I'm using the MHD back end flash. I am considering taking that out and probably just go straight up MHD. I know there are two sides to the argument on this. Each one has its pros and its cons. Uh, give me your comments down below and let me know. See which way I sway. I don't know if I'm going to leave it. I don't know if I'm going to take it out. Now with this current setup, I don't know what I'm pushing as far as horsepower. I've never taken it up on a dyno. I've never had it tested, so I don't know. I'm guessing perhaps I got to be pushing four and a quarter, maybe 450 with all of this. We'll find out one day. Now lastly, and probably my most favorite modification and certainly the cheapest, was when I modified the cabin air intake cowl that ran across the engine. A lot of people, they remove it completely, but I don't like the way it exposes the brake fluid reservoir and the engine computer on this side. I wanted to keep those covers, so I went and I modified my cowl, and then I just swapped in the BMS cabin filters on either side. This makes it so much easier for me to get to the oil catch can back there. I just have to unscrew it, empty it out from time to time, and then screw it back in. And when I have to get to the engine cover, if I ever have to remove it, I don't have to take out all of that plastic there and slows me down. And it's just such a pain in the Now they sell a kit, M3 style conversion kit. I'm not going to pay over $700 just to make something look good and make it easier for me to get things in or out. When I can do this myself, when anybody can do this themselves for free, if you have a Dremel tool, you're just gonna cut it back right here and here. You're gonna make those three cuts. And if you do it all continuously, it's one, but you make those cuts, you're done. You put on the existing rubber that was on there before you just cut pieces and you put them there and there and look how much cleaner it looks and i don't have to remove anything when i have to get into the engine bay as i said cheap and very easy to do and i like the way the covers remain so i can not look at what's exposed underneath those are the modifications that i've done under the hood what's next as i said probably the single blow-off valve charge pipe i do want to update the inlets and maybe at that same time, I might do a stage two turbos from Pure, but it's expensive and I don't know if I'm there yet. I really enjoy the amount of power that the vehicle has right now. I like the way it drives. I like the way it handles. Everything about it is perfect for me. So I might just keep it as is and stay on top of all the maintenance. That's it for now. Tune in to the next video where I go over all the exterior modifications that I've done. If you enjoyed this video, Give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you for watching. Take care.